Hi everyone, this is Anjil Soni. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to create a separate section in your dashboard which shows the selections that are being done in your filters. So in this example, you can see for this chart, I have these filters and the selection of these filters, the values get displayed over here. Um, so this gives a better idea to the users um, when they have a lot of filters in their dashboards. Um, so let's see for region, these three values are applied and this is what gets displayed here. For manufacturer, there are a lot of values. So Tableau will uh, show the top three values in this order and the rest other values will get clubbed under this. Uh, under the count of the values, remaining values. So let's see how you can create the selected filters sheet. For this, you'll have to create a new sheet and create a, a dummy field or you can say an empty string. Um, this is required because you can apply filters to a sheet only when you have a field. Uh, being, uh, being added to either this marks card or rows and columns shelves. So I've created this um, empty string. Um, now I'll go back to my sheet and carry forward these filters to that sheet. Uh, apply to worksheet, sheet 4. Sheet 4. And let's add this date as well, sheet 4. Let's go back to sheet 4. Now you go to the title, remove this and let's try to insert these fields. Okay. Uh, you can give the names of these fields over here so that it becomes um, more meaningful to the users. I'm not giving it right now. Now, uh, what you have to do is bring this to entire view. Um, let's switch back to standard view. I'll show you what happens when we don't have the um, entire view selected. We'll create a new dashboard. Let's bring in sheet 1 and then we need sheet 4. So you see, uh, the formatting of this sheet 4 is all messed up. So this is the reason why you need to shift to the entire view. And when you shift to entire view, your sheet, actual uh, worksheet, the, that canvas uh, becomes visible. So you need to hide this. For this, what you'll do is go back to the sheet, remove the tooltip, then switch to shape. And let's add a transparent shape. So I've created this transparent shape um, in PowerPoint. I have done a separate video on how to create transparent shapes and what are the uses. Um, so I'm giving the link in description. Uh, just go and check that out. So now this sheet becomes unclickable. So you see here. Now um, let's adjust this and Let's try to change the values here. So you see um, the date values are appearing here and even the manufacturer and region values are showing up. So that's how you can create a separate section for uh, the selections in your filters. That's all for this video. Thank you.